I'm going to be teaching a mindset practice tonight that helps with PTSD, erasing thoughts, sleep, trauma release. <sighs> In a comfortable space, tea, water, whatever you need to just relax. North Carolina, Faith, beautiful, welcome. Florida, Miss Pam, welcome. So we're doing this practice, so get comfortable. Mastering your mind tonight. So yesterday, if you're on my email list, you have the replay. If you've joined um, the upcoming retreat, you have the replay of our somatic practice. So we did yesterday for the body. Now tonight we're going to do a practice for your mind. Centering your mind, centering your thoughts, calming down, getting ready for sleep. So many people have racing thoughts and hard time getting to sleep, especially with PTSD. And this is something that has really helped a lot of people. So if you want to get a notepad, you can definitely go through the practice. Right now I have on um, frequency music to help calm this biannual beats. So you're okay. All right, you guys. <sighs> So we're going to be doing something different. I want you to just take some deep breaths and take a sip of water or tea. Get yourself in a comfortable, comfortable spot. A comfortable place. Closing your eyes. Good night, Lewis. And feeling your breath. So we're going to stay with our breath. I'm going to guide you through this mindfulness practice. Okay, I'm going to guide you through it. And you can't get it wrong. Actually, the more that you notice yourself thinking about other things, the better. You have layers of disassociation. Okay, so I know disassociation is a big deal for a lot of people. I'm going to teach you about those layers of disassociation so you can reassociate faster. How does that sound? So first, let's bring your hand to your heart. And I want you to just take some deep breaths, just like we did when we did the somatic work with your body. And this time, just begin noticing your breath, how it feels in your body. If you're breathing high into your chest, or low into your belly and just breathe being in your presence just being in your presence yes faith I have I have many yeah BPD and NPD I love dealing with inhale and exhale just feel your breath. And if you can, and exhale. Just feel your breath. And if you can, and you just put them in your hand. I don't know where my Wi-Fi went. But put them in your hand. Um, I hope that the music comes back on. I feel this squeeze in your hands. So that helps. Finding your breath in your hand to your heart, that helps. Connecting to your breath. So feeling your inhalation and your exhalation. Mm. And your inhalation. And your exhalation. And just notice where your breath is in your body. Inhalation. And exhalation. 
So when you're having a panic attack, when you're having a split, like this is the first thing to do. Hold on to something that you can feel touch. Bring your hand to your heart. This regulates your nervous system. And focus on your breath. Okay, focus on your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. I just want you to notice your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And we're just going to stay here for one minute and breathe. There's nothing more that you need to do but just breathe. Feeling your breath. Closing your eyes if you're comfortable closing your eyes. If not, focusing on one thing in front of you. Noticing that one thing in front of you. Feeling your breath. Noticing if your breath is deep or shallow. And as you do this, notice that your mind is getting involved. You're analyzing, you're thinking. Notice the voice that you have when you speak to yourself. What tone, what cadence when you're analyzing yourself. Feel your breath. Feel your presence. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Feeling your presence. Feeling your awareness. Noticing your thoughts. Doesn't matter what you're thinking about. At this moment, you're just noticing where you are in space. Noticing your breath. Is your breath shallow? Is it deep? One minute now. As you're just when you're no longer focused on your breath and that sensation of your breath in your body, your mind to your body. And when you start thinking about something, this is the next piece of this class. Is that something? Your body, are you focusing on aches and pains? something physical in you. If so, just notice, just notice that your brain stops and goes to focus on your body. Are you focusing on a story? Does your mind go to a story? And is that story future or past? Just notice, does your mind go into story? And is that story future or past? Mm. 
and bringing your attention back to your breath. Does your mind go into planning or thinking about other people and other things outside of yourself? Just noticing where your mind goes. Does it go outside of yourself? Is it trying to solve a problem? Is it analyzing other people? What is your mind doing out there? Call it back to your breath. If your mind is with your breath, keep it there and just let my words roll over you. If your mind has gone to thought, bring it back to breath. Notice, did your mind go to your body and thoughts about your body or what you should be doing? Did your mind go to analyzing the future or the past, reminiscing, figuring things out? Or did your mind go to somebody else or something else outside of you? To an external force? Just notice, where did your mind go? Inhale and exhale and bring it back to you. You're beginning to train your mind. It's beginning to notice that you are noticing it. The you that is not your mind, that is not your brain, but the you that is beyond your body and your brain. You have a brain, you have memory, you have visuals, you have visions. You have dreams, you have desires. You have brilliance. You are not these things. They are yours to own, yours to use, yours to dis disengage with, or yours to engage with. Inhale and exhale. Watching your mind, watching your thoughts. Noticing where your thoughts take you, what patterns your thoughts have. Do you revisit the same story over and over and over again? 
Do you tell yourself the same self-judgment over and over and over again? If so, when you notice it, just inhale and exhale, bringing yourself back to this present moment. Back to your breath. You are more than your thoughts, more than your memories. Your mind is powerful, powerful, powerful. We're gonna do an experiment now. Just so you know how powerful your mind is when you direct it how powerful you are. If you choose to play with me, I'm gonna take your mind off your breath and I want you to imagine a lemon, a beautiful lemon tree. And on this lemon tree are fresh, juicy lemons. And you're gonna pick a lemon off that tree. And you can cut it open or peel it open. And imagine that slice of lemon in your hand. You're gonna take that lemon and put the lemon in your mouth, biting down on that lemon wedge. Taste the lemon. Feel the lemon in your whole body. Notice, is your mouth watering? Did you pucker? Did you experience that lemon? In this present moment. Exhale, releasing that lemon, letting that vision go. Come back to your breath. So imagine in front of you is a hundred dollar bill. Imagine this hundred dollar bill and pick up the hundred dollar bill. Smell it, crinkle it in your hands, smooth it out. What would you do with this hundred dollar bill? Watch your mind come up with solution. Ways that you could use this hundred dollars. See yourself using that hundred dollars however you'd like and feel the joy in your body, sense it in your body. Notice how powerful your mind is creating sensation. And notice how powerful you are over it, directing that thought. Give thanks for that hundred dollar bill. Give thanks for what you just did with it. Receive. And then bring yourself back to your breath. Notice your breath in your body. Where is it? Is your breath deep? Is it shallow?
feeling your breath. Notice if your mind goes into thought. Are you thinking about sensation in your body? Are you judging how you are doing this? Come back to breath. Are you thinking about thinking and visualizing the past or the future? Are you running a program that you've ran a hundred times over? Notice it and bring yourself back to breath. You have thoughts, you have visions, you have hopes, you have memory. You are not those things. Is your thoughts moving towards things outside of yourself? Maybe your children, your spouse, what was a worry or a gratitude? Pull yourself back into this present moment. Noticing each time that you practice this, how you are mastering your brain, your thoughts. Notice the part of you that is mastering your mind and your thoughts. Breathe. So you can use this practice to go to sleep to. Watching your thoughts and coming back to your breath. And using your mind to create relaxation just like you created in the experience of the lemon or the experience of the hundred dollar bill. Telling yourself, I give myself permission to relax my body. I give myself permission to relax my brain. I give myself permission to think of wonderful things. Planning your dream state. Planning what you would like to experience. And when the brain goes off on an old track, calling yourself back to your breath and putting it back on the track that you want it to go on. And you can do this in a wake state. You can do this in a sleeping state. If you want to just go to sleep from here, go ahead and allow your whole body to relax. When your mind goes on an old track, coming back to your breath, even in the sleep state, feeling safe and secure, relaxing more and more, and sleeping soundly. Your mind is focused on blessings and gratitude. Your breath is soft and mellow. Your body is relaxing and releasing. You are the master of your mind. Letting go of its mastery over you. Noticing the part of you that is doing the thinking. Knowing that you can subconsciously reprogram your brain at any moment, reclaiming your mastery, coming back to your breath, if you choose to wake up, if you have any questions, if you want to know more about how you can really dive deeply into practices like this and our somatic practice, 
have a beautiful retreat coming up that's going to teach you so much more than this and walk you through experiences like this and deeper for you to claim this mastery over your mind. And reconnect your mind to your body, your emotions. Reclaim authority over your life for success and joy. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and just take a nice stretch in your body. And of course, if you just want to stay there and sleep, go for it. Letting my voice and everything said here just roll over and through you, going deeper and deeper into relaxation and sleep, letting your mind trust that you have it. A track of beauty and light. And if you have any questions about this process or any desire to go deeper, feel free to just comment in the chat. Again, my name is Dr. Lisha Antica. I work with survivors of abuse to reclaim their lives, to discover how lovely and wonderful you are, to trust yourself. And I'm doing a three-day retreat, January 12th, 13th, and 14th, where we're going to be putting the pieces of you back together, you in the driver's seat of your life, maybe for the first time ever, cutting years off of therapy, worked or unworked. And right now until the first, you can get all three days for $47. And I want to invite you because you stuck around here. Is everybody asleep?
So I really put everybody to sleep. Wow. Sweet dreams, my friends. Sweet, sweet dreams. Be blessed. Be wonderful. You are smart. You're intelligent. You are the master of your own mind. Discover of your own feelings. I appreciate you very much. <laughs>